Don't get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So I told y'all yesterday that Shannon Sharp was lying about that tape. He tried to say, you know, he was hacked. He didn't know how the audio of him, you know, smashing Melissa. Was that her name, Melissa? Yeah, Melissa, he did that. He wanted y'all to feel like, you know, the audio of him grunting, putting in work, wasn't him. He was hacked. Then he came out last night and spoke on it with Ocho Cinco on Nightcap. I'm starting to see that this whole thing is starting to feel like Cap. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what Unc has to say about the situation. I'm embarrassed for a number of reasons. Okay, just relax. <laughs> Let me get my screen ready, sir. All right, we're going to listen to what Uncle Shay Shay has to say about this situation here. Um, people count on Shannon. Um, Shay, there are a lot of people that count on Shannon to be professional at all times. And I always try to be professional. Oh, did I say Melissa? I'm always... <laughs> Names. It was Michelle. Oh, yeah, Michelle, my bad. I don't call the girl Melissa. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, Michelle. Let me go ahead and give you a credit, honey, because you whew, you had Mr. Sharp just uh, uh, had him grunting. That thing was good. Okay, uh, Michelle. <laughs> Professional at all times. Um, even when I'm behind closed doors, I still try to remain a level of, um, even when I'm behind closed doors, I still try to remain a level of professional, although I'm in the privacy of my own home. Um, <clears throat> and I'm very disappointed in myself, um, not for the act. Um, I think there are millions and billions of people uh, of consenting age that engage in activities. Um, but, but to have your most intimate detail on the audio to be heard, I'm disappointed in myself. I let them call them. I call my sister. Uh, my friends, obviously, my friends reached out, but guys, this was not staged. Um, came in, I threw my phone, staged. Um, came in, I threw my phone on the bed, um, gazed in an activity. I did not know IG Live. I've never been on IG Live. I've never turned IG Live. Objection. So you mean to tell me you walked in with Michelle, my bell? And you just threw your phone on the floor and somehow it just popped up on IG Live. And so my thing is, I don't know about y'all, but I like foreplay. You're not just about to just hurt, hurt. No, 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 no. So y'all just walked into the room. No, for you just, just stuck it in and that's it. <laughs> Sorry. Boom. So I don't know how it works. And so um all of a sudden my other phone is going off and people are calling me facetime that i've never talked to a day in my life on facetime and it didn't i'm like why are y'all calling me facetime and after a while jamie uh uh fritz who's been my longtime marketing guy he finally got through to me and he said uh shannon you on ig live i'm like doing what you know i'm like what am i on ig live for i ain't hit no ig live button he says uh they can hear I like, I'm like, so now, Ocho, you know, I say ask for patience. He said they can hear. And now I'm starting to get agitated again because you call me and say I'm on IG Live when I know I didn't click myself on that. Objection. I'm sorry, but when I'm in the middle of doing the do, my mama can call me. I'm not answering the phone. I'm getting dick down. I'm not like, I don't understand. Like, am I, I mean, do y'all stop having sex, especially when it's good? Y'all stop to answer the phone? Oh, hell no. I wish I'm not going to would. <laughs> so we're, we're doing it. You putting in work and the phone rings and you stop to answer it? Objection. You hang up that phone now. A cap, I'm not buying it. As good as that shit was, the way he was grunting and moaning. That's right, Michelle. Take this dick. Take this dick. Ain't no way in hell he reached over and answered shit. 
Let's continue. IG Live. And he said, they can hear me. I said, hear me doing what? He said, it sounds like you were having sex. Man, my heart sank. It dropped. And obviously, uh, 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 I run I run my account. I'm not by Objection. The only thing that dropped was you dropping that dick in Michelle. Okay? Talking about his heart sank. It dropped. Yeah, that dick dropped. <laughs> but Jordan being the good Samaritan, the, the good soldier that he is, Jordan the one that cut it off. Because, hell, I didn't even know it was on. Jordan cut it off. Jordan put the message up. And then after I called my agent, I called my agents, uh, the agency, I called ESPN. After I, I was like, I just got this good. Tell them the truth. I said, I just got to tell them. Objection. So you mean to tell me. Now, y'all remember a lot of people were saying, T, why did you play so much of his sex tape? Bitch, that was the good part. It was on for a good 10 minutes. The, the two minutes that I played, y'all, that was me just, you know, deciphering through the good, the juicy parts. So, you know, get this dick and, you know, him saying her name. But it was it went on for a long time. So if Jordan has access to your Instagram page and everybody's saying, damn, is Unc having sex? Why wasn't it shut off sooner? I could see if it was on for like a quick minute. That shit went on for a good 10 minutes. Sounds like he was trying to get the whole internet to come up in the live stream. <laughs> The more I hear this cockamamie story, the more it's not adding up, Mr. Sharp. I'm the truth. My phone wasn't hacked. Uh, it wasn't an. It wasn't a prank. It was me being a health, healthy, active male. I mean, y'all thought I was bull jiving. Hey, hey, I'll get it in. Real talk. Hey, oh, oh, Joe. See, I, I don't man. I'll be lying. I'll be lying. Okay, hey. lying. Okay, not the condoms. I didn't see this on the... My thing is this. Now you don't went from, you know, uh, being sad to bragging. Which one is it? Are you embarrassed? Are you sad? Now you're pulling out condoms, letting us know that you know you're a size 10 Magnum. <laughs> and that aunt be getting it in. As you should. Shannon Sharp look good. He look good for his age, body on point. I don't think anybody assumes that Shannon Sharp is not having sex. Now Skip Bayless... I mean, he got a wife, but he don't look like he get a lot. He don't look like he be, you know what I'm saying? But Shannon Sharp look like he'll fuck something up. So none of us ever thought that you weren't a healthy, you know, we didn't. We never assumed that you didn't have a healthy libido, Unc. We knew you was fucking something. You're not in the gym, them big old muscles for nothing, okay? You don't look like your average boomer. We know you getting it in, sir. <laughs> Come on, man. He sparks hard, oh, Joe. <laughs> And, you know, I, I hit one early this morning. Uh, come but on, man. In all, in, in, in all sincerity, I'm extremely embarrassed um, that a very, very private, intimate situation, the audio can be heard. And I'm extremely, I'm extremely disappointed in myself. Uh, <laughs> two minutes, five minutes before I came on, phone rings. It's Cat. Cat Williams. What's up? The first thing out of his mouth, guess what he said, Ocho? Oh, wow. You ain't gay today. <laughs> <laughs> Objection. Cat Williams says you're not gay today. Even if, let's just say Cat Williams did call him. I believe Cat Williams probably called him, right? They're friends. You know, he went viral with Cat Williams. Um, the fact that he made sure to say that. The fact that he made sure to say that Cat Williams says, I'm not gay today. Because he knows when it's all said and done, this was put out there to help quell these alleged gay rumors with him and his stylist. Because he could have said anything else but that. I'm just saying. Hey, listen. Said, man. Hey, said, listen. Come on, Cat. Uh -huh. And, and, this, is, and this, this is the funny thing about it. Now, you, you remember... All the people talking trash and saying whatever they had to say, trying to assassinate your character, that yeah. you might be this, you might be this, mm -hmm. or whatever it may be. So, hell, I mean, I'm just sitting back. I'm thinking, well, hey, hey, it was a goddamn Michelle. It wasn't a Michael. I'm, I'm embarrassed for a number of reasons. Um, All right. So now, let me come back on the screen. They are funny. He said, I'm happy it was a Michelle and not a Michael, because we were all thinking it. like, Because I was showing up listening hard. Like, I hope that's a woman. It was. She was like, ah, ah. I was like, okay, Michelle. <laughs> I 
Michelle, my bell, I ain't mad at her. So now, the reason why I'm feeling like this was staged now, because the more stuff that's happened, I'm like, we live in a day and age where numbers are down, you know, everybody's not tuning into everything as much as they used to, and they got to keep the numbers up, they got to keep the lights on. Because shortly after this, now all of a sudden, he's being offered porn deals. Go ahead and look at this. Shannon Sharp offer, offered porn deal after accidentally streaming sex session. Shannon Sharp has been given a chance to cash in on his accidental foray into adult entertainment with a porn website offering him $100,000 to join their platform. Sharp streamed himself having sex live on Instagram on Wednesday before later explaining that it happened by accident when he threw the phone on the floor, he initially said he was hacked. Um, another thing that people are kind of upset about too is that ESPN put out a statement and they're saying that he's not going to be suspended or reprimanded. Um, and which is fine, you know, that's their business. They want to suspend or reprimand him. But people felt like the whole thing just does not make any sense because you've had people at ESPN reprimanded for simply having an opinion that the station didn't like. I remember when, when Stephen A. Smith said something about some women and they ended up, you know, putting, it on, putting him on a short suspension. Uh, Paul Pierce um, was recently fired. So it was just kind of interesting that there's nothing, there's no consequences. Not saying that he should be fired, of course, you know. Now, let me also say this. I haven't been live on IG in probably two years because they had banned me from going live ever since the riots of 2020 on my old account. I haven't really tried it on this account. I just don't care to go live on Instagram. That's not my platform. Fuck Instagram. Um, but I remember, you know, back in the good old days before I got suspended from Instagram, um, it was a few steps to go live. Again, I haven't been live in a long time. So maybe the steps have changed. But I thought like in order for you to go live, aren't there like, you have to tell like, are you ready to go live? Yes or no? I don't, I mean, I'm just, I'm confused. Does it just, you can just throw your phone in your live? Because I drop my phone all the damn time. So now I'm, I'm nervous. God forbid I throw my phone because I'm ready to get it on and it's live. So please, <laughs> let, let me know. Should I set my phone down softly? Make sure all apps are closed. I already made sure all apps are closed. God forbid. But what do I do? You know, like sometimes it just be in the spur of the moment. So we're not allowed to throw our phones no more? We'll just go live? Let me know. Are those steps done? Because I thought you had to go on, you know, to you had to click the main button, your profile button. Then you, you swipe to go live, you know, because there's like boomerang and there's other choices. And then it says, are you ready to go live? Then you click yes. If those steps are gone, please let me know. Because like I said, I drop my phone all the damn time. So somebody said the steps are still there. <laughs> somebody else said they just powered down their whole phone. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, after pushing buttons. T, it's possible if your phone glitches like mine. So I think at this point, everybody just needs to turn off their phone, child, while they're getting it in. I don't know what else to say. It's embarrassing, <laughs> but it looks like he's making, you know, lemons out of lemonade. Uh, Cameron, though, has something to say about the situation. Cameron is like me. He ain't buying it. You know, Cameron is old school. He ain't buying none of that shit that Shannon is selling. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what uh, Killer Cam has to say about the situation. Let me refresh this real quick. I, I talked to Mace a while back, and I was telling Mace, I love how him and Cameron be dressed up in suits. I really enjoy it. Like Cameron, he just looks so distinguished <laughs> with the tie and the suit. Like he a hood booger, okay? <laughs> but when you see them in them suit and tie, they just look so distinguished. And then he just be cussing and carrying on in a whole suit and tie. I just, I love it. I love it. I told Mace, I said, don't ever change our style. I love seeing what suits and what little button ups y'all gonna wear each day. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, he had uh, hit me up to tell me congratulations on hitting a million subscribers. So yeah, Mace is a sweetheart. He's a tea sipper. Very, very genuine guy. Such a sweetheart. Jobs in the ESPN. Daniel bragging.
Thirdly, you say, you know who called me today? Cat Williams. He said, you ain't gay today. Why you got to make an announcement you ain't gay? If people say you gay, whatever. <laughs> I don't think you need to make an announcement. I want Pink a lot of my career. And people be like, hey, Cam is gay. Cam is gay. And I'll be like, bring your mother around and see what happens if you bring your mother around or your sister. Let's see how gay I am. I don't need to make an announcement that I'm not gay. I'm not saying Shannon Sharp is gay or isn't gay. I don't care what his sexual preference is. I think this whole thing was staged. His, you know what happens after that? He talking about, oh, y'all crashed the site. All my merch sold out. All of a sudden, now all the merch sold out after, or after you on IG Live grunting. <laughs> so I told you. <laughs> yeah, man. I think this was a ploy. I think it's a Ponzi scam. But if it worked for you, um, it worked for you. But that's my personal opinion. This was a Ponzi. Me and Church, Big Church was talking about it. All of a sudden, you apologizing, bragging. Merch sells out. You're not gay. It's, it's too much going on in one Instagram joint for me. <laughs> Apologizing to ESPN. Know you're then you're bragging. Thirdly, you say, you know who called me today? Cat Williams. He said, you ain't gay today. Why you gotta make an announcement? <laughs> I love Killer Cam because he just, he don't care. He is so, blue. you hear Mace in the background cracking the hell up. So, I think at this point, <laughs> yeah, he came and called it a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> a scheme cooked up by Todd Tucker. <laughs> it's like, you know, at first, you know, I felt bad. I'm like, you know, Unc is a boomer. We're going to give him grace. You know, things happen. But the more I just sit back and just watch how everything is playing out, and, you know, now he's getting porn deals. The merchant sold out. He done gained another 100,000 subscribers. Unc, stop. And the thing is, he didn't even need to do all this because he gets amazing views. And I got a chance to watch the Marlon Wayans interview because y'all had told me to watch that the other day. So I finally got a chance. It took me about two days to get through it, but I loved it. I loved it. And the Wayans brothers, Kenan Ivory Wayans, Damon Wayans, even Kim Wayans, they don't get enough credit. They put a lot of people on in the industry. And I just love the fact that, you know, Shannon just let him talk and, you know, just gave him a platform, a genuine platform, because I learned a lot, you know what I'm saying, just listening to Marlon and taking me down memory lane. So I, I really liked it. The John Cena interview, I watched that as well. I watched that like last week. I love the John Cena interview. Um, I told you I liked the Tyrese one. So he gets views. So I don't know like why he feels the need to go this route. But at this point, I don't feel like it was an accident. And, you know, they're offering him money. But what about Michelle Mabel? You couldn't have did it alone. Michelle not only helped, you know, quell the gay rumors, but she put it on you, okay? You was grunting and groaning, so obviously it was good. Where's Michelle's offers? I hope Michelle get a bag and all this. I hope she gets some of that merch money, okay? Because Michelle did a lot without saying a lot. <laughs> Run Michelle her coins, okay? I'm going to be Michelle's advocate. She put it on Unc. He said, that's it. Oh, that's right, my Michelle. <laughs> you know what it reminded me of? Y'all remember the movie Forrest Gump? That's one of my favorite movies. Remember when um the principal, remember the mama was like, she didn't play about her son. Mama Gump? Oh, she didn't play about her son. Everybody kept calling him stupid and slow. She said, what is five measly points? You know, we're all special. We're all different. He said, is there a Miss, is there a Mr. Gump, Miss Gump? She said, he's on vacation. Next scene, oh, she was fucking the hell out that principal. Just put it on him. He's screaming and shit. So then the principal comes to talk to Lil' Forrest. And he says, who, boy? Who? Your mama sure do care about your schooling. What Forrest Gump do? He said, <laughs> that scene lives in my head, rent free. <laughs> Who remember? What did Tika if y'all remember that shit? All us 90s kids, we used to rock around the hallways doing that shit at school. We'd be like, <laughs> Like, Michelle put that thing on Unc, okay? He was grunting and groaning like that damn principal and Forrest Gump, okay? Miss Gump put it on the principal, Michelle put it on Uncle Shay Shay. <laughs> 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 
Man, that is, I know that movie, when I, I know that movie, Frontwards and Backwards. Forrest Gump, that is one of my favorite movies. Real talk. She did not play by her son. She said her son ain't going to be treated differently. I'm going to put this pussy on you and my son going to get up in that school with all the regular kids. Okay? You're not sending my son to no special school. She put that thing on that principal. It was a rat. Forrest was on that regular school bus with the regular kids going to get a regular, regular education. Okay? Shout out to Miss Gump. You're not going to play with my baby, bitch. <laughs> If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.